Hey everyone, my name is Kaching Song. I am the community manager on the Fusion 360 team. You can see behind me, we're at BattleBots 2021 World Championships. There's about 65 teams here in Las Vegas competing for that number one title. And uh, yeah, we want to give you guys an inside look at some of the teams, what they're like, what inspired them to design the robots that they've designed. And uh, yeah, just an inside look. So come on in and uh, let's check it out. We're here in the pit, and this is where all the teams have been calling home for the past week. And as you can see behind me, they're setting up shop here, they're maintaining the robots, fixing the robots. We're set up back there with the Haas machines, trying to make parts for them as fast as we can. All right, so you can see they can also watch the battles live as they're happening right in their own pit so they don't have to miss the action. They know exactly what's going on. Oh. Kajig! Hey, Xander, so- How's it going? I'm good, man, I'm good. You've been at the machines, cranking all out day, parts much. all day. You've got a sprocket. Yes, this is a 45 tooth sprocket for the robot retrograde. Okay. This is going to be changing their drivetrain for their lift arm from five to two to one to five to one. Yeah. Make their robot a lot more powerful, basically. Hey, that's awesome. We dropped this onto the Haas, milled this out, made a larger hole, and gave them the bolt pattern they needed so that way they could put it right on their bot right away. That's awesome. And so we're gonna go take it and give it to them. That's our favorite part, is to deliver parts to these teams. All right, let's go find retrograde. Let's find the team. I'd like to say that now is the worst time for me to realize that my shoe is untied. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we don't see it. Great. What's up guys? Oh, guys? So we brought you your sprocket. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about why you need this part made? Yeah, so right now we have a lifting system on our robot. We've yeah. been having some trouble with it. So the heart of our lifting system is this assembly right here. Okay. So this motor can deliver a ridiculous amount of power. And right here we have a harmonic drive 45 to 1 gearbox. The load rating on this gearbox, however, it turns out is about 98 newton meters for continuous load and a peak load of 145 and to lift the robot we need to deliver 950 to our arm so we need some extra reduction between this yeah. and the arm yeah right now we only have a two to one reduction but with this sprocket and another piece that's being made for us we should be able to get closer to a five to one reduction okay nice, which will yeah. easily give us enough power to flip robots without mulching the gears in this gearbox God. so essentially what we managed to do was create the part needed for your team to be able to send robots flying through the air. Well, at least turn them over, but yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Sounds great. That's so cool. Thank you for telling us know about that. Yeah, thanks man, I appreciate it. Retrograde, like what inspired you guys to come up with the name Retrograde? Uh, I'm not actually the team captain, that's Aaron, so you might have to talk with him more about that. Okay, yeah. I think the general idea was we kind of have like a bit of like a space or Star Wars-y theme uh, going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retrograde is yeah. like an astronomy term. Thank you, Chief. I can't remember off the top of my head. Over here to my friend Aaron. He's actually the captain of this oh, team. Oh, Aaron, how's it going? Retrograde is kind of this space-inspired yeah. uh, space name. Um, yeah, can you tell us more about that? We kind of came up with this idea for a lifter robot that also has uh, an undercutting blade oh. to counter those long forks yeah. and then give us the ability to get under robots and flip them over. Gotcha. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is our undercutter blade. Nice. Uh, so this rides the ground really, really close. Sure, yeah. And so any of those long, pointy, thin forks sticking out are going to get wiped out by this. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, and then the vertical spinners especially are weak against robots that can flip them over. Yeah. Uh, and they do a lot of damage to themselves when they land on their weapon. Yeah. And uh, not many teams have really self really reliable self-writing methods. Mm. Uh, so that's that's the strategy with retrograde. Sure, that's uh, cool, that's yeah. great to hear. Uh, are you guys, so uh, besides like BattleBots, are you guys uh, students full-time? Uh, most of our team has graduated, but we still have a few members that are, oh, are in see. college. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm, I'm assuming you guys all designed this in CAD too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we use Fusion. Oh, you do use Fusion, yeah. okay, cool. Uh, it works really well for our team structure because our team is so spread out across the country. Uh -huh. um, you know, Justin from Blood Sports in Boston, I'm in Los Angeles, yeah. Seth's from Connecticut. We're kind of spread out all over the place. Yeah. Uh, and so having a cloud-based software is 
really important for us. All right, well, hey man, thank you so much for yeah. talking to me and uh, great to meet you guys, great to hear your story and good luck this season. Thank you. Yeah, thanks man.